This is NBC News reporting from Cape Kennedy, Florida. Russ Ward, Herbert Kaplow, and Jay Barbary bringing you the mission of Gemini Titan 6, man's first effort to rendezvous and dock two objects in outer space. It has been a perfect countdown thus far with the Agena target vehicles set to go in less than 15 minutes. The weather beautiful, a bright blue sky dotted with scattered clouds. Let's get a late status report now on the mission. Here is Gemini uh, Control. Minus 109 minutes and counting in our master countdown and a little less than 15 minutes away from the Atlas Agena liftoff. Our reports from Launch Complex 14 indicate that all is going well as we reach the final phase of that countdown. We're making some telemetry checks at the present time between the range tracking and the Agena spacecraft. All systems looking good at 14. Some three and a half minutes ago, the prime pilots for the flight, astronauts Wally Shira and Tom Stafford, climbed aboard the Gemini 6 spacecraft. Once they get settled, they will start a series of communications checks with the blockhouse and with the Mission Control Center in Houston. This will be followed by some biomedical readouts to ensure that the sensors are operating satisfactorily. All systems are go, both at Launch Complex 19 and Launch Complex 14 at the present time. Now coming up on T-minus 108 minutes and 23 seconds and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control. Five seconds and counting. There will be a momentary hold at T-minus 19 when we press the ignition switch. T-minus 17 seconds. T-minus 15. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. It's holding momentarily at 4. We have ignition. And a liftoff right on the button. Right on the hour. A yellow flame coming from the base of the booster as it starts its ascent into the heavens and the noise starts to move toward us. Project Gemini, two weeks in space. This morning, the launch of Gemini 6. Now from the CBS News Space Center in New York, Walter Cronkite. One minute, 20 T minus one minute seconds. and 20 seconds. As we lead up to the final moments of launch, to repeat an earlier announcement, we will have ignition at zero, and some three seconds after ignition, the launch vehicle will lift off on the start of the Gemini 6 flight. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. T minus 50. Astronaut Girard making some final comm checks. T minus 40 seconds and counting. During the final 10 seconds of the count, astronaut Alan Bean will give the count to the astronauts in the spacecraft. T minus 30. T minus 25 seconds and coming. The pre-valves on the launch vehicle have been opened. This permits the propellants to come down just above the thrust chamber. T minus 15 seconds and coming. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Got a shutdown. No lift off. The engines have shut down. Fuel pressure is lowering, Wally Shira says. Apparently in safe condition. Yeah, fuel pressure down about 32. Like critical moment. no launch a critical moment now getting the fuel pressure down the oxidizer pressure lowering nicely clockhouse is asking for a readout on all tank pressures any malfunction that would have kept the ship from getting into orbit would have caused those engines to shut down on the pad and something did occur Immediately after ignition, as you saw, the engine simply burst once and then shut down. An automatic shutdown. Elliot C is putting in a call to seven to advise them that we will not have a lift off. Frank Mormon says, Roger, we saw it. We saw it light up. We saw it shut down. By golly, Gemini 7 up there above the Cape saw what we saw here, of course, at 185 miles distance. He assures uh, Frank Warman that everything's still okay on the ground here, and we'll keep him advised. All safety features have been built into these rockets, of course, but once you have an ignition like that, and fuel has begun to pour into the thrust chambers, and have, there is a shutdown, there is always danger and concern. Until the fuel pressure has been brought back to normal, until the to sure that the valves are cleared of fuel coming down into the combustion chamber, uh, there will be uh, some concern, crossed fingers. And then, of course, and uh, Tom Stafford Stafford. and Wally Shira talking now about what they saw at the moment of ignition. And then how they saw the various pressure gauges and dials start, start dropping, just as we did here in Houston, as I'm sure they did in the blockhouse. T-minus one minute and 40 seconds and counting at the present time. Everything's still looking well. During the last 10 seconds, astronaut Alan Bean, who is the spacecraft capsule communicator, will count down for astronauts Wally Shira and Tom Stafford in the spacecraft. As we reach zero in the countdown, the engines will ignite, and some 3.4 seconds thereafter, we will get liftoff for Gemini 6. Now one minute and 12 seconds and counting. During these final phases of the count, actually during the 90 seconds down, we have several highlights in which the one of the key ones, of course, is the power transfer. Now one minute and counting on Gemini 6. Power transfer where we transfer into internal power on the launch vehicle. We have conserved those batteries up to this time. The spacecraft already is on internal power. Now T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. All still looking good. T minus 30. All quiet on the communications at the present time. T minus 20. T minus 15. T minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. 0. Thank you, Sharon.
Gemini Six Mark, is good. One minute. Their velocity 1,342 miles an hour. Another nine seconds they go through maximum dynamic pressure, the next critical point in this flight. It's when they take maximum buffeting. And if there are any structural difficulties with the spacecraft and the booster, they would become apparent. They're going through max Q now. This craft looks good. To pull all the consoles here. He gets some happy reports from each one of them. Looks good, looks good. It's about eight and a half miles up now, and uh, that's a beautiful picture from our BU cameras. Mark 1 plus 40. First stage cutoff should come now in about 45 seconds. Shiraz says he's got an update. Mark 2 minutes. Two minutes, our velocity now 3,700 miles an hour. Tanks are go for staging. Means they're ready to turn off those big 430,000 pound boosters. They've done their job. They've gotten them up that high. Now the second stage, 100,000 pounds of thrust will take over in about another 10 seconds.